if the buildings aren't there, then, you know, the memories are gone as well. The scope of the project includes the four-block Foggy Bottom Historic District, and that's where we do some focusing, but it also includes GW in other areas. You learn so much by the history that we've just uncovered, how small this area is, how large it once was, and how much history is lost not only through the buildings, but the fibers of the community, such as the churches and the displacement of people. It's, it's, really, it's, it's really fascinating. It's a great opportunity. I think the important thing to get, what we're trying to get across is the sense of community throughout time. You know, what it was like for, for Irish American immigrants here, what it, what it was like for African Americans, what it was like even since then, because I think that's one thing, and this, Denise gets credit for this, is, is like the historic period is 1860 to 1915. The history didn't really stop in, in 1915, and it's, it's not stopping today. So we're, we're trying to sort of use this neighborhood to, to show the, the ups and downs and the senses of community over, over time. Once you're here, you cannot really believe that you had another life where you weren't in a walkable community. And I think students find that too. Many of the students we talk to on the street, they're like, when I graduate, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to move back. I just think there's a lot of opportunity to work with the university on a lot of these issues and work with students in doing research and doing oral history projects. And it's different than a lot of the neighborhoods where They've reconstructed, but they don't have that pull of your heart that this sort of neighborhood and the historic buildings on campus and just around really seem to make an impression on people.